So I haven't done a video on mental health tips in a while, mainly because last week was super sunny and I decided to uh, soak up the sun and get a lovely golden tan in April, may I just add, April and I've got a golden tan. The fact that it was sunny, plus the fact that I felt highly unmotivated has led me to the video that I'm going to talk about today. A few tips to try and keep us motivated. So, first of all, to help me get motivated again, I had to switch up my daily routine and my fitness routine um, to help me get motivated. So instead of me running four times a week, I tried to switch up a little bit. I did yoga, which I've never done in, in, in like forever. Um, I tried to, to do these acrobatic balances, which was a good test um, because it made me realise that I couldn't actually do them. So I decided that was going to be my goal to try and do these balances and when you do a competition balance it feels great i know this might sound really stupid but music um music can change your mood so if you wake up one day and you feel completely unmotivated i always put my itunes on like a shuffle because i've got so many different varieties of genres of music going from heavy metal yeah i actually do have some heavy metal uh going to like some 90s pop and when it's on a shuffle a tune will come on like out of the blue and you, you just feel like oh my god i haven't played this song in absolutely ages and it just gives you an, a new lease of life and that sometimes makes you really motivated. I always do this in the morning um, because when I listen to music, I go, right, that's it, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to do some exercise. Because trust me, I don't wake up every single morning going, oh, yay, let's do some exercise. Oh, God, sometimes you have to drag me out of the bed to do exercise. Um, I know after exercise, though, you feel completely better, um, but actually getting up and going outside to do that is sometimes a struggle. So music is a great shout. Also, I've got a load of spot, uh, Spotify playlists. So if you feel like you want to be motivated, check them out. I'll put their little link at the bottom of this video. Um, in a previous video, I said that it's really good to start learning something new. I have started learning Italian um, with an incredible app called Duolingo. Um, I am not actually that bad at speaking Italian. Check that one out. Si, sí, sto imparando l'italiano. <laughs> Ultimately, I know that we are all struggling at the moment, trying to keep a normal routine. But let's face it, nothing in this world is normal at the moment. So it's okay. And I think what you need to understand is, is if you wake up one morning and you don't feel like you want to do anything, don't force yourself. A couple of days ago, I felt completely zapped. And I decided, you know what, sod it. I don't want to do this because if I force myself to do something, to make myself feel motivated, it's only going to make me feel worse so you know what i said yeah i'm gonna stay in bed and i'm gonna watch shed loads of episodes of er and the next day i felt unmotivated again but when it came round to the friday two days later i woke up with a new spring in my step and i said right let's do this so ultimately it's not to feel bad and not to make you feel guilty for not doing anything. Now this is for all the people which are isolated, away from your family, away from your loved ones, away from anyone, you might even be isolated on your own. Um, to try and keep yourself motivated is to stay in contact with all your loved ones. I know this goes without saying, but sometimes you can be a recluse. Um, I know I do that all the time. When I feel like I'm unmotivated, I can't be bothered to speak to anybody. But the actual fact is, uh, when I rang my sister the other day <laughs> and she put the my nephews on FaceTime, it gave me a really big smile across my face. And it helps you to realize and put things in perspective that this will all blow over if you got your family out there then your family are your support system 
and they're the ones that will keep you motivated. So make sure you stay connected and speak to people and before you know it, you're laughing on the phone and you're realizing, oh, that was a great idea, I should have just stay connected. I know some of you are um, quite scared to be leaving the house. I know I've spoken to many people and some of you haven't even like left the house for any exercise whatsoever. Um, but one of my friends, uh, Scott Ashley, actually put, he's a personal trainer, and he put on his Instagram story that he just felt like he was in a massive slump um, the other day. And it was late at night, he hadn't done any exercise outside, so he just took himself for a walk. And when he took himself for walks, all the thoughts were just flooding into his head and he got the endomorphins pumping. So even though that you wanna go outside and do a bit of exercise, if you don't feel motivated to do exercise, just go take yourself for a little walk, get the fresh air, and also just allow the feelings to come and go. If you feel like you're low, it's always good to acknowledge the feeling and let the feeling flush over you and to say goodbye to it. So it's always good to acknowledge how you're feeling, but then to let it go, rather than trying to block out any feelings that you have whatsoever. Um, so I think what is a great idea is to try and keep a plan and stick to it. So for instance, on television, you might be totally into the new series of Killing Eve. You know that comes out, what, Monday? So you write in the diary, Monday, Killing Eve's coming out. Or, you know, with your flatmate, we look forward to Wednesdays where we catch up on Killing Eve. Um, so it's always good to put stuff in your diary for you to look forward to throughout the week. I just want to leave you on the point of try and stay positive. I know this is easier said than done, but... When we live in the past, we're only going to be depressed. And if we live in the future, we're only going to suffer with anxiety. So the best thing for you to do right now is to live in the present. Because in the present, you're taking day by day. You're waking up how you're feeling this day. And then you go to bed at night. There's no point you worrying about the future or what's going to happen in a week's time. And whether or not we're going to be let out isolation in a couple of weeks time. And you're getting excited. And then when that day comes... They go, actually, hang on a second, we're just gonna extend it a little bit further. The best thing to do for you to stay positive and for you to stay motivated is for you to take a day at a time. So there we go. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I felt unmotivated to do one last week, but hopefully from the tips that I've given you today, you feel a lot more motivated like I have this week. Um, if you need any help or anything, please, please, please don't be afraid to speak and send me a message. Have a great day and just remember, Live in the present.